Today has been nothing short of overwhelming, painful, and very difficult to push through. So after work, I'm like, I'm just going to lay down here and veg out on my bed for a moment. I need to rest. And so I laid there and all of a sudden I got a little thing and it was Facebook and it was an adoration. And I'm like, okay, let me listen to the adoration and um, just lay here and just pray and just put my life in God's hands. I need you, Lord. I need you to help me through this pain. I need you to help me just stay focused and stay calm, not panic and calm my body down so I could fight the pain um, as best as possible. I have three more days, Lord, be with me. And so we start praying and as they, um, in adoration, there are some that are silent, but this one was the rosary. And when we got to the mystery, we did the mystery, the sorrowful mystery, which is the passion of Christ. So those of you that do not are, are not familiar with the rosary, what we do is we meditate and pray through the, um, the different parts of God's life, or G I'm sorry, Jesus's life. I mean, there are three in one, right? God, God the Father, Holy Spirit. However, <laughs> Jesus um, is God in his human form, right? So it's Jesus's life that we um, meditate upon. And this one happened to be the Sorrowful Mysteries. The Sorrowful Mysteries is the passion of Christ. Okay, so... Um, as they're praying, as we're praying, um, she starts going through the mystery. I believe it's the fourth mystery. <laughs> and she says, um, and this isn't the exact words, but it's the words that made an impression on my head, was the most blessed and sacred and holiest wound of Christ. And I didn't know this. I, that's the first time I heard it, was the wound upon his shoulder. It was bruised, it was beaten, it was, flesh was ripped off as he carried the cross to Calvary. And the petition for that mystery was, may the people that are in charge of our lives, that have our life in their hands, may they have mercy on us. May they, um, and these aren't the exact words, but basically take care of our life, that they may be entrusted with our life and make those decisions for our life. And I'm, I, and I'm mind blown. I don't know if you're catching it, but in this moment, I'm just letting God bleed into my wounds, bleed into my wounds. And I'm like, thank you, Lord. Thank you. You've already suffered for me. You've already ripped your shoulder off for me. You know my pain. You've already carried my pain and my bruises and my everything that's going on. And I trust in you and I thank you for what you've done in your greatest sacrifice of dying for all of us. But I will never forget your most precious wound of your shoulder as you carried that cross for me and for you. How could I not be so overjoyed with love for Jesus? Cause he is here for me. I, you know, sometimes in our struggles, we felt that God has left us, but honestly, I, I know God has not left me. I don't, I haven't got that feeling with this trial, but I know I've been there. So, nah, no, I can't say that. I just, I don't know how or why, but I know God is always with me. And for that, I thank God because that prayer, that rosary, that adoration, just let me let go and let God. My God, I know you got me in your hands. I mean, when things like that happen, how could you deny that Christ is with you? How? How? You, you can't. I mean, the sorrowful mystery and then a, a piece of, I've never heard it said that way about um, Jesus' shoulder, that being the most sacred, holiest wound, when he carried the cross, I mean, it makes sense, but because, you know, my shoulder, get it, the connection, I'm just like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> you understand, I'm not alone, you are right here, in me, in front of me, behind me, and it's like, you're just here, <laughs> so, when those things happen, and he talks to me like that, 
I just get so excited and and I push forward. So I will make it through these three days. I've got this. So we'll see what happens. Thank you for all of you that continue to pray for me. Now I've got to go get ready because I have an event at 7 p.m. with a good friend. So I will see you all live at 7 p.m. as I am on my friends raw and unscripted. So I hope to see you there. We're going live at 7.